This is possibly the last canvas painted by Peter Bruegel the Elder. It dates from 1569. In this peaceful setting, we see a few houses around a church tower. In the foreground, we see a row of strange figures that obstructs our view of the landscape and immediately draws our attention. Dressed in heavy cloaks, they're holding on to each other by the shoulders and carrying long sticks. They are all blind. And suddenly, the import of the sweeping movement that follows a downward diagonal becomes clear. We see them coming towards us as they walk down a sloping track. The last man in the line is led by a stick held by the figure in front of him, who in his turn, along with the next two companions, are holding each other by the shoulder. The fourth figure holds a stick that links him to the fifth. But this figure is starting to fall forwards. He will soon join the first blind man who has crossed the ditch and fallen into the stream. And we have the feeling that when he falls, he's going to drag all the other blind men down with him. This slow and inexorable movement is all the clearer to us as all the stages are shown in one dynamic sweep. The last men are still walking upright on the path, while the posture of the first men is less and less vertical until the final fall. Bruegel's parable of the blind leading the blind tells a story that occurs in a few seconds. He thus illustrates with surprising powers of observation the decomposition of movement. This study would be taken up and used three centuries later with the works of Etienne Jules Marais. The Cubist and Futurist painters would later put these principles to work often with a great deal of humor.